Okay, well that's what I've uh, come down to here with my bad back. Is I can't even lift up rounds into the truck. I've got to use this contraption here, my ramp. <sighs> what do they say? Work uh, smarter, not harder. You know who says that? Smart people, people that are capable of working smarter. This is about the most genius thing I can think of. That tells you how smart I am. It's just really demasculating to think what I was doing just last year to what I'm doing now because of this back. I wonder if Carhartt makes a dress because that's what I should be wearing right now I'm working outside is a dress because I'm just not a man. It's ridiculous. Wait, 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 don't go away. I, I didn't mean that to be a derogatory statement towards uh, females at all. I mean, I bring my daughter out here and she works her ass off. She could probably lift these up into the truck. I was just looking for an analogy or a metaphor of something of uh, to kind of explain how demasculated I've become. And I did not mean to, to uh, beat up on women like that or be derogatory with women. I'm really sorry. All I'm saying is I'm just a pussy, just a pussy. When I say pussy, I do not mean that in a derogatory sense either. I'm just saying that I, I love pussy. Don't get me wrong, I love pussy, but I, I can't get enough pussy. Pussy was the first thing I ever saw when I came out when I was born. I saw pussy. Love it. Can't get enough pussies. I was just thinking, thinking, I, I better just be quiet. You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. You know, if you're a man and you don't like pussy, you know what, that's not a derogatory statement towards you. Hey, we all have our own preferences. I'm just trying, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, if I had more followers, I'd be canceled right now. Thank God I don't. Ah, oh, geez. I'm just a old man with a back, bad back who can't keep his uh, mouth shut. All right, cut this, this is not going in. Let's get back to other things now. many favorite chores around here but one of them was splitting wood see after a long day of work or just uh, relaxation even I would go down to the barn I would chop for 30 minutes build up a little bit of appetite before dinner clear out my mind and then head up to the house and uh, do that probably three or four times a week it was just great with the back can't do that anymore but I still need to get the wood chop, so I'm working smarter, not harder. Luckily, a good friend of mine, Buzz, he's bringing up his log splitter, and he actually cut some wood out of the woods for me um, and created a big pile. So we're going to go ahead and knock that pile off now. It's good to have friends. It's not good to have a bad back, but it is what it is. Let's get going here. big hunking machinery behind me boom look at it that's what you call a skitter 
Loader, 1963, weighs about six, 7,000 pounds. I bought that about five, six years ago. I was like, I can use this around the property. I can use it to pull out logs. I can use it to grade the driveway by throwing the bucket down and grading it. And it's gonna be fantastic. Well, it had one slight problem, which was one when I bought it, which I didn't think was a big deal. It turns out it's a big deal. And that's the brakes aren't that great on it. Brakes can be important. You know, so you're gearing it mostly to kind of uh, slow down and everything else. Well, the thing's six, seven thousand pounds, and uh, I don't have any hair. I had a full head of hair when I bought that thing. Not really, but it makes for a good story. So, my buddy Zeb, who is an excellent mechanic, took a look at this and said, I learned how to drive on one of those things. And he wanted it. He goes, what do you want for this? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I was just kind of sitting here, and he's like, well, I'll tell you what, I will fix up all your quads, and in return for the labor of fixing up my quads, he's going to fix this up and take it out of here. I'm like, win-win situation. This is awesome. So last week he went ahead and he picked up my first quad. That was just kind of sputtering. I thought it was maybe carburetor fuel pump. He did a couple of cleanup to stuff to it, and he says it's running great. So he's going to be dropping that off in a couple hours, and he's going to be picking up the second quad. The problem with the second quad is it doesn't run at all. It's dead in the water. And anyone's ever owned a quad knows the problem when you got a quad that's dead is you got to push it up into the truck, up the ramp. Like, oh! Now, when I was younger, six months ago, yeah, I was no problem. I'm, I'm a big, tough guy, but nope, not this one. My back, my back. I'm an old man. I need my back, right? But I've got a plan. I'm going to work smarter, not harder, right? That's been the theme of this. Unfortunately, I, in order for me to work smarter, I've got to get that quad down from my house all the way up, over, up there, all the way down here. So, uh, check this out. I think it's going to work out great. Or it could turn into a disaster. A disaster is probably a better video, but uh, for me, I want it to work out. Anyway, stay tuned. You're going to see it. Coming up right now. Yeah, don't, yeah, you don't want to really go all over the top when you're doing this split. Just go about halfway down. That way you can control where you're hitting there. <laughs> you, you get the hang of it. Halfway down. Yeah. Right about there. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep. Yeah. It'll just keep going through. You see, I can come up with as many tools as possible to make my life easier and make my work easier, but at the end of the day, it's really all just work. However, what isn't work is hiring a 14-year-old kid to actually do the work and I just supervise. So I've got Dylan, my nephew here, and 
and uh, I'm going to use him to uh, the nth degree, whatever that means. So, yeah, it's going to be a good day of not working, working smarter. Cut this thing out of the way real fast. We can get underneath it, but uh, ah, fuck it, let's go underneath it. Thank <laughs> you. 